हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी बिल्डिंग ए रेस्ट एपीआई पी आई नोट जेस एक्सप्रेस फोर एंड मोंगूस सो फॉर दिस आई एम यूजिंग मोंगो डी बी डेटा बेस एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग राउटर्स इन एक्सप्रेस टू बिल्ड दिस रेस्ट एपीआई एंड आई विल बी यूजिंग ए टूल कॉल्ड एस पोस्ट मैन इन ऑर टू टेस्ट दिस ए पी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हेयर यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड दिस एक्सप्रेस बॉडी पासर मोंगूस and node mon so these are the dependency guys so i will not be guiding how to install it so it is a very basic process so just install npm install body parser express mongoose and node mon and in the package.json just in the script section make a start script and write here node mon followed by the file name which is index.js so now we will be importing all the stuff here first of all we will import the express library so we will just write here require express and we will be making a simple app we will be listening on port 5000 and also we will be importing our body parser middleware so just import it and after initializing the app we can just use it by app dot use so body parser dot url encoded inside this we can just pass the extended option to true and also we can convert all our request which is coming here into json by body parser dot json that's it this is a method and now we have successfully initialize our body parser now we just need to make the router so const router we will be using express dot router this is a method which is available and we can just uh, make the router here we can just make a url so that our router can based upon so app dot use and here we can just pass a url that we will be using for the rest of the application let's suppose i use slash api so this url will be the parent url of all the urls that we will be using in this application slash api and we will be passing the router object and now we can just make a simple get request on this router object and uh, this will expect we will be making this in the home route so this will expect a callback request response so inside this we can just print out or we can just send a response respond dot send hello world that's it so now if i start the server here by executing the command you will see that it is successfully started node one has started it and if i go back to this url localhost 5000 slash api it will send this response hello world that's it and now we have successfully configured our router and uh, url now we just need to make our data and uh, we need to connect our application to mongodb database for that we will be importing mongoose here so right here at the top we can just import mongoose so require we just need to write require and here we can just import mongoose library and after that we can also make a models folder here inside our directory so inside this we can just make a user dot js file so user will be our data we will be creating users reading users deleting users or updating the users inside this so first of all we just need to make a schema here so for that first of all we just need to import uh, mongoose so for that just create a variable mongoose and also we will be creating a schema variable so this will equal to mongoose dot schema and now we just need to create a user screen schema so this will be equal to schema so this is a constructor so here in this constructor we need to specify the structure of our data so it will only hold one field which is name of the user so it will be of type string that's it and now we just need to export it so for exporting it we can just use module dot exports 
and here we can just pass mongoose dot method which is model so inside this model you can just pass any name i will pass user and alongside with the user schema that's it so now we have successfully ex exported it now we just need to include it in our uh, index.js so we can just include it with the uh, require syntax dot model slash user that's it so we now we have successfully imported it the user model so now we just need to connect to our mongodb database so here we can just write mongoose dot connect and we can just pass our mongodb string slash 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 localhost followed by port number which is 27017 this is the port number being used by mongodb slash the database name so this is my database let me just show you i have already created this database of users so i will just pass this as users that's it and now if i refresh it nothing will you will see that we are successfully connected to the database so no error is there so now we can just make our calls in order to create a user so now we we will be having a route in our post route in order to create a new user so for that we can just make router dot route we will create a new route on the slash users this is our route here and we will make a new method to it which will be dot post we will be making a post request so this will be function request response and inside this first of all we will be making a new user which will be var user uh, let me just make it guys capital u this capital u so that we can just differentiate between this we will be creating a new instance of it so user is equal to new user so after this we just need to uh, give it a name user dot name so whatever name is coming in the body so request dot body dot name so whatever name is passed in a, in the request we are just initializing it to the name attribute so after that we just need to save it so user dot save this is all mongoose function so it will save this document in the mongodb database so it contains a callback function if any kind of error take place we can just return the error by response dot send error if no error is there we can just uh, send out a message that uh, sorry not a message a json inside this json we can just provide a property of message that uh, user created that's it and now i can just check this by postman so this is my you can see that this is the postman if i make a request let me just open a new tab make a get request and this will be http slash slash localhost 5000 slash api slash uh, i have called this as uh, let me just see i have called this as users slash users and in this case i will be making a post request so just select here post and in the body we need to provide a json so just select raw here and select json and here we just need to provide a name of the user so inside curly brackets we will just write provide the name let's suppose i provide the name as john and if i send this request you will see that hopefully it will send out a response which is you can see that user created and now if i check the database if i refresh it you will see that one entry has been added with the id which is auto generated and the name is added as john and you can see that i can just create as many entries as i want if i again change the name let's suppose to john2 if i send this it will again create this entry and if i refresh the database you can see that two entries are being added and now in order to get the list of the user which are there inside this database we can just make another route which will be uh, dot get so just after it ends here we will be making another bind another function to it get so here we will pass here function 
this will be request response and here we will be using user dot find method in order to get all the users so it will have the error also and alongside with the user so first of all we will check for the error if any kind of error take place we can just send out the error if no error take place then we just need to uh, send out the users all users inside of json response so here we can just pass response dot json and pass the users that's it so this is our get request and now if i test it so currently there are two users are there so now if i make the a uh, change this to get here send this you will see that a json response will be returned and the two users are returned because two users are present inside the database so this is a request in order to get all the users and now in order to get a specific detail about a specific user i need to pass a id to it so after the this request will be user just make it as user and we will pass the id to it so this will be a get request so now we just need to make this request so that we can just request specific detail about a specific user so for that we will make another request just after this which will be router dot route so this will be uh, slash user slash under under colon id so this is a dynamic id variable that we will insert at the time of request so we need to bind a get request to it so a get request so here we will be passing then callback function if any kind of error take place oh sorry this will be request response so here we will use the method of find by id so we will pass the id by request dot params dot id so whichever id is passed here we will pass this id and after that we will be getting the user details so if any kind of error take place we can just check for the error and return it response dot send error if no error is there we can just in the else block we can just send out the information in json and pass the user you can see that that's it and now if i test this and just make delete this uh, make it as user and if i pass the id of the specific user so it will return the name as john let me just send this request you will see that it will only return the details about this specific user because i have passed the id to it in the request so this is a request in order to get the specific details about the user now in order to update the update the details about the user we need to make a put request so right here just after it we will be making a put request so just bind this put request so this will be function request response so put is just a update request we will be again be user user find by id method and here we will be first of all be selecting the id which is passed by request dot params dot id and we will pass this callback function if any kind of error take place we will send that error if no error is there we can just first of all get the name which is uh, user dot name and we can just initialize to whatever name which is passed by the user which is request dot body dot name that's it so after uh, modifying the entries we just need to save the user so for saving it we can just use user dot save and inside this if any kind of error take place we can just send that error if no error is there we can just send out a response to the user response.json 
and inside this we will be having a message property that is user updated and now if I just check this using postman and let me just make a new re request here let me just copy this and let me just select here put and here in the body we need to provide our name so just select raw here and again json so here you just need to provide the modified name so let me just want to change the name to smith here and now if i send this request you will see that a response will be coming in that is user updated and now if i check the database if i refresh it you will see that uh, the name has changed to smith here you can see that and the last request which is the delete request if you want to delete a user we will be making a delete request so right here we will be making another route for that so so just after it we will be bind another method which will be delete so inside this this will be function request response and inside this we will use the user dot remove method so inside this we will pass the id so underscore id we will pass the id by request dot params dot id and the second argument will be the callback function so function function if any kind of error take place we can just check for the error so if any kind of error take place we can just send out the error so response dot send error if no error is there we can just uh, in the else block we can just send out a message that is uh, response dot json and in the message property we can just say user deleted deleted that's it very simple and now if i test this if i just uh, copy this uh, or i can just change the method to delete here and now if i send this request you will see that user deleted and now if i just uh, refresh the database you will see that uh, that entry has been successfully gone so in this way guys you can just make a rest api that we have built in this tutorial using express 4 router and mongoose library in node.js so thanks very much for watching this video i will be seeing you in the next video